The following program is brought to you by Stopwatch. We'll walk you home. Hello. Today we talk about the University of Washington. I feel a campus with over 40,000 students. Home to the most brilliant, successful student body in the nation. And also, a The crime rate in the state of Washington has risen significantly every year between 2000 and now, increasing by almost 20,000 criminal actions in the last five years. These dramatic increases in criminal activity have been extremely troubling here on the campus and in the surrounding neighborhoods. Despite their best efforts, the university and local police have been ineffective in curbing the increasing pest and violence. February 9, 2008, at approximately 2 a.m., four UW students were assaulted by an unknown suspect in the 4700 block of 17th Avenue. Toby, can you describe what happened that night? Yeah, we were just walking home from a party, and four guys just came out of nowhere and just started pounding us. It was, it was really scary. Had you known your assailants? Yeah, they were, they actually, I think they were a couple guys from the party. They kind of got rowdy and, you know, guy who owns the house didn't want anybody, you know, getting his, you know, MIT or anything. So he booted these guys out before things got out of hand and they took it out on us, that's for sure. Came at us with bricks. Beat the hell out of us, to be honest. The altercation left two of the victims with injuries requiring medical attention, but these kinds of squabbles seem to be becoming almost commonplace around the campus. One such muggy incident occurred right here, but it began going for it, as if someone seemed to have freshmen and underclassmen. Yeah, we really need to get together soon. We'll all figure it out. I'll look at my calendar and see what works, and we'll just get together. All right, all right. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye. I was just walking back from parking my car to the dorms when uh, these two guys came up behind me and attacked me and they took my cards and I yelled after them but it really didn't matter. I don't really know even why I did that but I wouldn't go out at night alone. It, it just feels unsafe. It's so close to the dorms and I mean I always travel in groups. It's crazy that this sort of thing happens so close but I feel really lucky I didn't get hurt. Ma'am, can you please describe your attacker to us? I, I hardly know what he looks like, but it seemed like he had kind of blondish brown hair. He was really hairy. I know that's weird, but he was really hairy. It seemed like he had like a crossbow with him. I don't know. It was weird. Ma'am, is this your attacker? Here we are, Mont Lake parking lot, 10 p.m. Two and a half months ago, a young man was walking to his car when he was mugged and attacked by three gang members. They stole his cell phone and his bus pass. Thousands of commuters park here every day while they attend class, and yet it is still haven for crime. The past few years, crime has been increasing on the UW campus, and the fear is too much for some students. In fact, the students... Hey, dog, ones. you got a cell phone? Hey, dog, you got a cell phone? Hey, please, we're filming. Oh! Oh! Get down there! Give me your wall! Give me that wall! Give me your wall! Give me your wall! Where you going? Hey, hey, you filming me? Don't get my face. Don't get my face on the camera. That ain't my camera. 